Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about tuberculosis. Before we start, let me introduce our group members. Here is our group members. Next, we will start with what is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis TB is an airborne disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. TB is a potentially serious infectious disease that mainly affects the lungs. How is TB transmitted? This bacteria is spread from person to person through tiny droplets released into the air via coughs, sneezes, and speaks. Infection occurs when a person inhales droplet nuclei containing tubercle bacilli that reach the alveoli of the lungs. Then, tubercle bacilli multiply in the alveoli. These tubercle bacilli are ingested by alveolar macrophages. The majority of these bacilli are destroyed or inhibited. A small number may multiply intracellularly and are released when the macrophages die. If alive, these bacilli may spread by way of lymphatic channels or through the bloodstream to more distant tissues and organs, including areas of the body in which TB disease is most likely to develop, such as regional lymph nodes, effects of lung, kidneys, brain, and bone. Several weeks, macrophages appear to ingest and encircle the bacillus tuberculosis to form a bacterial named a granuloma that keeps the bacilli contained and under control. The granuloma is the pathological hallmark of tuberculosis and the place where M tuberculosis is thought to survive in a slow or stop reproduction state for an extended period. However, in the case of a barrier shell breaking down, the tuberculosis bacteria escape and begin to multiply rapidly. The person now can transmit the disease to a new host as M. tuberculosis completes its life cycle by releasing infectious aerosols via airways. Now, we move to the biological solution to tuberculosis. The BCG vaccine is one of the most widely used of all current vaccines and it is part of the National Childhood Immunization Program. The BCG vaccine contains live bacteria that have weakened. The capability of these vaccines is to elicit a recall response in healthy infected individuals. After BCG vaccine is injected intracutaneously, monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells recognize the BCG at the vaccination site and form a strong immune response. BCG is recognized and internalized by dendritic cells or macrophages. The cell wall or other components of BCG act as PRR that bind to different ligands upregulate costimulatory molecules of stimulated cells and activate anti-TB in an immune response. Activated dendritic cells migrate to lymph nodes to activate mycobacteria-specific CD4+, and CD8 plus T cells with a TH1 profile and subsequently induce the secretion of high levels of cytokines. At the same time, B cells that respond to BCG antigens lead to the production of memory cells, plasma cells, and antigen-specific antibodies. Next is ligand conjugated oral ATD nano medicine. Nano medicine defined as submicron colloidal particles are designed to be the drug transporter. It has high efficiency by cells in transporting and delivering drugs due to its low immunogenicity. ATD drug rifampin, astonizine, and panazimidamide and further enhanced by a bioadhesive ligand. Addition of bioadhesive ligands such as lectin has shown the improvement in the increase of drug absorption and its bioavailability on the mucosal surface. There are several advantages of nanoparticles as drug transporter, which includes higher carryability to be able to carry multiple drugs in a matrix capsule, minimal side effects, multiple drug routes via oral administration, transatosis through M cells, payer species administration, and intracellular uptake and transport through epithelial cells. Here is our references used in this video. You can further read these references if you want to know more about tuberculosis. That's all from us. 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.